Well, good day, everybody. Darren Yankee here with Echo Y Farms. We just got these fancy collars from Gallagher. They're an e shepherd system for our virtual fence. So, no longer do we need to be putting up poly divisions in our paddocks to divide off a day's worth of grazing. We were moving cattle once per day. Currently, with this new virtual fencing system, we're moving cattle three times per day. And the great thing with the system is I can go on in the morning, preset my moves for the day, and walk away. So they automatically move themselves to the new lot. So we're at 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning, day 8 of using the system. They trained in really well. Within four days, they were pretty well all trained in to the system. As the cattle walk into the virtual fence, they get a beeping sound. And if they keep walking, they get a little pulse. It only does it three times before they are through the fence. And at that point, they are considered out if they keep walking through. The fence just is moving as we speak. At 8 o'clock this morning, the fence moves. So the only way the cattle know that the fence is moved is by habit. So if you get on a schedule and start moving the cattle at the same time every day, they'll just know they can go into the new lot. It does take about 15 minutes for the cattle to get the cue to move on their collar. So some of these cattle here that we're looking at are probably into the new lot or heading into it. You can see where the cattle are here. There is kind of a line in the back side of the cattle there. That's been grazed on the right, not grazed on the left. So they say these cattle are right on the edge of the fence. And it's not beeping at them. Because we can hear the beep just as well as the livestock can. Normally it takes about a half hour once the cattle get the single to realize that the fence is no longer up there. And then go ahead and graze into the next lot. You see the calves are ahead of the cows quite a bit. We have calves way down over there in the valley spread out all over the place. So they are getting some prime grazing, some prime eating ahead of mama. No big deal. As long as we keep the herd contained. And currently two of our bulls in here do not have collars on. And they have been staying within the herd as well. It is breeding season right now, so there's definitely activity going on. But yeah, it just takes about, like I say, a half hour for them to realize that, hey, there ain't no fence there anymore and I ain't going to the next lot. And normally I'm not back here, so I'm probably distracting them as well. They're probably thinking, what's going on? We normally don't have any company when we're getting moved, so... Unlike we used to, we used to have to come back and pull down a poly wire, move the cattle in the next lot. They're used to seeing us, they're used to moving when we're back here. But now we don't have to be back here and they get moved right into the next lot themselves. So, Pretty slick system. I knew it would be a, a neat little deal to have, but I didn't realize it would be as slick as it is. So, And the cattle trained in real well. I was kind of nervous going into getting the system, how the cattle would train. But currently we got about 92 beef pairs out in this group and running about one acre per day. So there's three moves within one acre. We are moving the back fence up behind them. So overall they have about a two acre lot every day. So the back fence is slowly creeping up behind them all the time. Because we got to go back to water and things like that. We only have a water spigot about every... 200 to 300 feet in our water line. So we do have to leave them go back some. But you can see here, these guys have new grass. The cows say, okay, you can go ahead. Eat some new grass. There's coming in, devouring that new grass. Mm. 
The one thing with the system is they come in, from what I've noticed, they don't wander around as much. They just put their heads down and eat. And they know they can only go about so far before it starts beeping at them. So they don't run around, they take their time. They come in with their head down and just eat. And as of right now, they probably all don't got the single yet to come in. It just takes time for the cows to check in and things like that. But we're probably looking at probably a 40 foot move for every time we're moving them. So these front cattle here are starting to get to the front end of the lot already. Look at that, I mean, just unreal. Knee-high grass in front of them. They obey the virtual fence. Oh, somebody's beeping already up front, so that means that's about as far as they can go. You can hear the beeping. So that's about all the far they can go is right here. So like I say, we gained about 40 feet total. So that's about the front of the line for them. But nobody went through, it was beeping. They turned sideways and kept grazing. They kind of know right where that line is. It won't take them long. We have leaders in the group of followers. So you can definitely see that when you're looking at the computer screen. You can see what cattle by the track of them are pushing that fence every time, every day. Some cow just walk up and down that fence line. It just keeps beeping at them. And then there's other cattle that haven't even seen the fence very often. Like once a day they see the fence. Know where it's at. Them are definitely the followers of the group. Because we can see if they got a, a audio sound, a little beep noise, or if they got a little pulse. You can see that on the screen. So it's really interesting tracking the cattle. Where they move every day. What areas they graze heavy? What areas they ain't grazing as heavy? How can we graze this pasture the next time through to utilize a pasture better, or graze certain areas heavier than the areas that got grazed previously heavy? Normally the ones in the back here are the followers for sure, not the leaders. They kind of hang out, leave everybody else, get the fence checked out. Then they'll go in and start grazing themselves. For the manures, plenty, plenty loose yet. Well, grazing the second time through, this is about a 90 day rest period we had in front of here. But I'd say the manures, I mean, for the most part, looks pretty good. We're getting uh, eight down real nice. And we can move them one or three times a day, just like how often do you really need to move the cattle? Say going from once a day before getting the system to three times a day is a big improvement in my mind. And maybe we'll move them more in the future again. But uh, for now, we're just going to do three times. I didn't know how long it takes for the cattle to get used to moving with the system. So at first we were just doing once a day. And now the last three days we've been doing three times a day. The cow up there on the right just got beeped at, so she turned right away. So you can see I'm standing about on the fence line, and the cow over there on the left is where the other fence line was. So not that wide area with all these cattle. It is about 400 foot long though, so they do graze up and down this hillside. Got another cow going to patch in the fence. Well, it was beeped at her. But she turned sideways and came back through. Got another one approaching the fence. Beeping. 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 Turned, turned, turned. Came back around. Real impressed with that whole system. She never got a pulse or anything. Just the beat. How fast they train is just amazing. Our cattle are very docile, easy to handle cattle. 
in the first place. So maybe that helps if you had more nervous cattle, maybe it take longer to train them. But so far, being day eight with the system, very impressed. We're getting way more pasture utilization from our pastures. Cattle are doing great. And when you can see the line out here from what they grazed before yesterday to what they're in now, it's knee high grass. And they're not pushing it to get into that knee high lush green grass. So. It's a little bit about the system. We'll try keeping you guys updated as the days go on here. But you just see what we had grazed off and how nice and even our graze is. There ain't no fence lines out here from the paddock division. Just a nice even graze across the whole hillside. Thanks for following along and watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the East Shepherd from Gallagher.